Hi, today I will show you how I work with patients with lateral epicondylitis, which is also called a tennis elbow. Uh, I will show you mobilization techniques and some exercises, but before we start, a few words of introduction. We will not discuss the pathomechanism of the uh, formation of uh, lateral epicondylitis because it is widely uh, described on the internet. Um, but what I want to pay special attention to is a differential diagnosis because unfortunately uh, a lot of cases of tennis elbow are confused with other diseases. In the case of tennis elbow, the main symptom is pain on the lateral side of the elbow joint, which occurs when trying to grasp turn or extend the wrist joint. However, we as physiotherapists must be sensitive to other diseases that may cause similar symptoms. Examples include elbow bursitis, cervical radiculopathy, posterior lateral rotational instability, radial nerve entrapment, radial tunnel syndrome, triceps tendinitis and even shingles. Only after performing the appropriate tests can we start working on the elbow joint, which I will show you in the video. Okay, so what science says about rehabilitating tennis elbow? Uh, physiotherapy treatment is effective when it includes manual therapy, which is focused on increasing range of motion in the joint. Second is strengthening the muscles. In our case, there will be extensors of our wrist that we need to get stronger. And third thing is cryotherapy. What am I not doing in tennis elbow? I do not stretch the tissues. And uh, this might sound a little weird for some of you, because if you type uh, on the internet tennis elbow rehabilitation, the first thing you'll get is how to stretch um, the extensors of the wrists. Uh, I do not do it because from my own experience and from uh, the scientific uh, publications, uh, it seems that this technique is not uh, very effective. Why is it like that? Because compressive loads, like stretching, can be catabolic in nature inside the muscles and it can um, give a negative response to other interventions. That is why, personally, I never teach my patients how to stretch the muscles uh, because I know from my experience that they will go home, they will overdo it and it will simply get worse. Okay, so we got three things that really works. Manual therapy, uh, strengthening the muscles and cryotherapy. Let's start with manual therapy. Uh, mainly, I use mobilization technique on humeroidal joint, which I perform as follows. I place the patient's arm straightened in the elbow and supinated. I put a pillow under the arm and I stabilize the humerus with my right hand. I will perform oscillations with my left hand. I place it on the radius, first palpating the humeroradial joint. I start with an oscillation towards the floor. This technique increases the mobility towards extension. I do three sets of 10 repetitions. I can also make oscillations towards the ceiling, then I will work towards flexion. It is important that the procedure is painless for the patient. If any direction of oscillation increases the pain, I don't do it. If it happens that both directions are painful, I try an unusual mobilization during which the patient lies down with his arm straight in the elbow but pronated. I stabilize the humerus with one hand, fingers 2 to 5. My thumb is placed on the head of the radius. I put the thumb on the other hand under this thumb and place it on the head of the radius. With the thumb below, I make oscillations. Same as before, three sets of 10 repetitions. If the patient tolerates this mobilization well, we can do some strength training. So in the same position, instead of oscillating, I perform the surface slide only and then patient works towards wrist extension with a small load, about 1-2 kilograms, 3 sets of 10 repetitions. The second thing which is working is strengthening the muscles and I will show you 5 of my favorite exercises. Exercise with a stick. We hold the stick in front of us with both hands, turning it around its axis by extending the wrists. Do 30 repetitions with each hand. 
isometric tensions on the short lever. I rest my forearm on the table and clench my fist. I hold fist with my other hand. I will try to strengthen my hand at the wrist, preventing this movement with the other hand. I tense my muscles for 5 seconds and hold. Then relax. I do 10 repetitions. Short lever extensions with resistance. I rest my hand on my forearm, my elbow is bent. The wrist should extend beyond the table. It is best to use a stretching band for this exercise, which we hook close to the floor. We do wrist extensions, 5 sets of 10 repetitions. Extensions on a long lever with resistance. I put my whole hand on the table, my elbow is straight. The wrist should extend beyond the table. For this exercise, we use weights about 1 or 2 kilograms. We do wrist extensions, 5 sets of 10 repetitions. Last exercise, in the same position, also with weights, we rotate the forearm outwards and inwards. We do 30 repetitions on each side. As I mentioned at the end of exercise, I do not use any stretchings, but what is working is I use cryotherapy. So put it on the painful side of your elbow and you keep it for 10 minutes. And that will be all. Thank you for watching and see you next time.